Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Another mild day, another breezy day around the valley. 79 the high, 63 the low this morning. Well, when your low temperature is warmer than your average high temperature, that's some pretty mild weather. Didn't get the record, 83. That's from 1950. Didn't get one yesterday either. Got within one degree. Clouding up back there to the north-northwest as you look at the Graeber Post Building's weather cam. Rain will move in, oh, after sunrise tomorrow. If you want to go cycling tonight, Terre Haute, 7 o'clock, your Crossroads cycle cast. A lot of cloud cover, 69 degrees, south wind at 11. Uh, really not bad conditions at all for that. Here's your joint water tower forecast for Westfield. Partly cloudy tonight, 66 degrees. Well, here's what we're tracking. We have Thursday thunderstorms, a quick cool down, then a quick warm up, and better rain chances after tomorrow morning's activity. Right now, a few clouds at the airport, 78. Humidity's still not bad, 46%. Winds out of the south at 15. The pressure's falling rapidly now with the system approaching. No rain, oh, been so dry of late. In fact, we've uh, set a new record. This is the 33rd day without rain here at the studios. That breaks the old mark of 32, which was set mid-October to mid-November in 1999. This will be the last day. Tomorrow we'll have some rain to talk about. Be shocked if we don't have some rain to report. Peak wind gusts, 41 over at Mattoon. Some 30s out there, too. The winds, the dry ground, the humidity, that results in all these active burn bands. If your county is not included, conditions are the same. Now, lows this morning, 62 Paris, also at Terre Haute and Effingham, high temps. Hit the 80 mark here and there. Oh, at Effingham, Washington, just now starting to cool around the valley. It's going to be a comfortable night. Again, in the 60s, warmer than what we had this morning, most likely. Look at that, upper 60s. And then, note that trend right there. That's not broken. That cold front comes through, and we're just not going to get a chance to warm up. Now, winds... Keeping the temps pumped up right now. 22 at Paris, 22 at Vincennes. Pulling some moisture into the region. Here's the northeast movement of that system. That's going to take it a while to get in here. That's where we'll be dry tonight and overnight. Get past sunrise tomorrow. And then we'll start to see the showers with some thunderstorm activity. Right now, it's just cloud cover back to the west. And Metro View, if you go out tonight, no issues. Very mild on the breezy side but no severe weather. Tomorrow, we'll have a slight risk, or I should say a marginal risk. That's the low end of the threat scale. Winds would be the main concern. Uh, other than that, I think we'll be okay. Don't see any tornado or hail threats. Here we go. You can see that system blowing through. This is 940, right through the heart of the valley. Out of here early afternoon. Doesn't look like it's gonna produce a lot of rain unless you get a thunderstorm over you. Now, for tonight, this is tonight and overnight. We'll be dry, partly cloudy, 66. Then tomorrow, Rain with thunderstorms moves in after sunrise, should exit eastern sections by mid to late afternoon, 69 for the high, which means tomorrow night's trick-or-treating will be dry. As you look ahead on the seven-day forecast, cool Friday, beautiful day, though it's sunny. And then look at all those rain chances, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, back into the 70s, and another cold front comes in the middle part of next week. Grants